Welcome along guys. Well, I'm here with Gregory. <laughs> Gregory. <laughs> Gregorio. Gregorio. Welcome along guys. Well, this is the video I promised probably six months ago, maybe even longer, a comparison between the special get the right bike, the Speed RS and the Street RS. We've enlisted the help of Greg, fresh off Hello. our rocket review we did the other week. We've blagged a couple of the bikes from Destination Triumph. Massive thanks, Destination Triumph in Washington. We're basically gonna take these out for the day, play on them and answer that question everyone keeps asking me all of the time. Which is better, the Speed RS or the Street RS? Roll that intro. What an afternoon. What an really afternoon. Really fantastic, brilliant weather and uh, surprising couple of bikes, I think, really, agreed, to be honest. Agreed. I think I was, I've ridden, well, I've ridden both of these before in isolation and it was wet, it was winter, but you could tell even in those conditions that they're both fantastic. Yeah. It, I've, it's something I've really wanted to do is take both of these out back to back and to better have both of us doing them and swapping while you're riding. Fantastic, isn't it? What a way that is to test ride some yeah, bikes, certainly if you're looking to buy one. <laughs> What's the suspension like on that? It's nice this, it feels, um, the suspension's quite firm. Is it firm? It's all yeah, rollings it, of course yeah, on not, that, yeah, isn't not, it? Yeah, um, not horrible, but it's, um, it actually feels really quite nice. And it's certainly got that instant pickup I like. This is obviously sh big piston shower forks up front and an Olin's rear, but not as high a spec as the one on that. And it can be a little bit crashy. I'd say the front, the front end, a tiny bit. It's not really. It depends. I mean, it's, it's on the bumpy road. It can be a little bit crashy. Put it that way. Yeah, you don't seem to be hanging about on that, mate. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, it's not. It's not a rocket ship at the top. But it's got that instant pull. And don't get me wrong, it's, it's, it's plenty fast enough, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see you're picking up much quicker out the corners with that extra bit of grunt at the bottom. The Feels way. really taut, you know, stiff chassis, the yeah. brakes are immediate, good. Yeah, yeah. But you get on that, and when I jumped on that afterwards, it feels you, you can really feel as you, you know, when you're giving yeah. it a little bit, and yeah, you know, you're on the power a lot more on that yeah. because you have to rev it to get the most out of it, and it's yeah. a bit flighty and it all sets a bit shaky. But and that all good sort fun. Of adds to the engagement as well, doesn't Definitely. it? So I think between these two, it, it really depends what you want from your bike to a, a certain degree, doesn't it? I, I think, I if, think so. if it's a Sunday morning thing to go out on the back roads, only is there, the isn't smiles, it? smiles, yeah. I mean, not saying this is this isn't a really focused bike, but I think it's more focused on fun and hooliganism than perhaps the speed. Oh, she sounds nice. God, it feels a lot um, narrower. Now, this. yeah, God, this is much wider, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Oh, the front brake is different. It's more sharp. The front brake on this, I think, and the steering's slower. Even just manoeuvring out of there, I can feel it. It feels slower. Oh yeah, really pick oh god, it's instant grunt on this, isn't it? Instantly picks up there. Let's say the traction even came on a little bit. Instantly went, it's got so much it's much stronger at the bottom. Straight away you can feel the extra weight. Yeah, you, you definitely can. This feels a lot lighter actually, a lot more nimble. I, th I think going from a lighter bike to a heavier bike it's more obvious, perhaps in that direction, than going from a heavier bike to a lighter bike maybe. But this certainly feels it's slower to turn. This does sound nice, doesn't it? Yeah, this the, the induction roar on this is nice though. I like that a lot. It's lovely, isn't it? That, that roar. But the, it's just got more noise all round, isn't it? I don't know if that's due to the arrows. Yeah, 
there's got so much more grunt at the bottom. Oh my god, it's, it's going to be really hard to choose, I think. <laughs> I know. Don't you so think? Because they're actually, they're quite similar, aren't they? In the riding position is almost identical. This hasn't quite got that instant grunt, but it's still not bad, is it? No, it's not. This is, this is I say, a little bit wider on your legs, isn't it? Between your legs, and just a little bit. So it's, yeah, it's, it's going to be difficult. It's going to be really difficult. This is very smooth. I think that is actually a bit smoother than this. Yeah, I, I think, think you're this, right. This is a little bit more vibey. There's a few more vibes in the bars on this than what there was on that. This feels a bit raw, if that is a word. <laughs> This feels a bit more raw, a little bit more raw than that, which I'm surprised about. I thought this would have been the smoother feeling one out of the two. So on the uh, on the uh, top trumps, well, I win because I, well, I I think on balance I prefer this one, and that's why I'm sat next to it. So <laughs> let's go for it. Then. Well, let's go. So obviously capacity, this is a, a 765. So you've obviously got that one. Yeah, being a 1050 was, triple. 1050. Both triples, of course. Yeah. Power wise, 121 brake. 195. <laughs> That's next year's bike. <laughs> 148 officially. 148. Yeah, which actually sounds That's by today's standard quite low, doesn't it? Yeah, but it still sounds. That's more than I thought it was. was I it? thought it was less than that. Really? But yeah. I, I thought I, the, thought I thought, I thought these were about 155 actually. Did you? Yeah. So 148. I mean, it's okay. not a lot in it, is it? Yeah, yeah, no. Talk. Talk. 79 newton meters. Which is quite low, isn't it? 117 newton meters. Yeah, and, and, you, and you, you can feel that, can't you? You can feel it. Yeah. It's. To explain for those that may have ridden one, and it's not quite as extreme, but it's got that instantaneous power or get up of a Super Duke. It has, yeah. It's, yeah. Got that it's, not, it's not Super Duke ridiculous, but it's still got that. Yeah. If you want to overtake, or it, you crack it and yeah. it's, the, the, it's a way. That is this you've got nothing, nothing build, but it almost feels a bit turbo, doesn't it, that? Yeah, I think. It, it does. But it's, but it's still got a surprising amount of grunt, yeah. though. It yeah. has, it, yeah. and the, it'll lift the wheel in the mid range. Definitely. You know, yeah. on the power yeah. because of that, but just yeah. compared to that, it just hasn't got that no, initial drive, no, has it? Definitely not. Oh, it looks nice, the lights on that, doesn't it? From the, uh, yeah, from the front. Looks, I do like those new headlights on the street. Oh, I do as well. They look so much nicer, don't they, than the round yeah. ones. It looks quite mean, doesn't it? Mr. Angry Eyes. Yeah, suspension on this is, is it's a bit firmer, isn't it, I think? I think it is. The whole bike feels firmer, doesn't it? Yeah, torta. Feels torta. Yeah. In, a good, in a good way, I don't mean a bad way. It's not crashy. No. It it's just feels more sporty. It does. This you can feel almost like the chassis flexing a little bit. It just, that is definitely a stiffer bike all round, which I actually think I prefer, to be honest. So you're feeling, you're feeling the speed at the moment, are you think? I don't know. Yeah, I think so, actually. And it's a bit annoying because it's like, oh, it's a bit predictable, isn't it? It's got more power, therefore it's, it's a better bike, you know. It, but agreed, I, agreed. I, I, and that, you just don't want to fall into that trap. I don't want to fall into that trap, but, but I don't, I think, I get the whole point that this is a little bit more engaging, but I don't think you need to wring the neck of that. It doesn't, and it doesn't feel like you're holding it back either. So it's still engaging. It's not like, you know, not like the Super Duke where you do have to hold it back a bit, don't you? Because it's just so quick. I don't, you don't have that feeling on the, on the speed triple, even though it's still quick. Yeah, and I think the way this makes its power, I've, I've not unleashed it fully yet, but I think it's, it's definitely more bottom endy than it is higher tuned, if you see what I mean. So they've tuned it for a lot of mid-range torque, but maybe not as much at the top sort of thing. I mean, they made it as a good road bike, which is what you want, isn't it? It's a road bike, you want bottom end pull. So I haven't unleashed the top end yet, but I've got a feeling it might be Flatter. Oh, she wheelies. Off the power. It comes out lovely, doesn't it? Yeah, really nice. That's what I mean. This doesn't. This doesn't do that. So that is that is that is more engaging from that point of view. And I think with that bike, I think they've overgeared it a little bit. I think it's too tall geared. I think if you were to drop a tooth at the front, I think it would wake that up even more. Yeah, you give that a good a good cadence through like first to second. I know I did second gear then. It was just it the front wheel was just it off the ground. Comes yeah. Up. yeah, it's nice. Whereas it, this, it's this, really nice. This stage very planted. It's just that extra weight. So this is where the, the street may start getting ahead of you a little bit here. So weight. 166 kilos. Not with you on it. <laughs> with me on it, we're about 350. <laughs> <laughs> 
166 kilos dry, of course. Dry. Oh, that's of very. Course. That's very light. It's light. That's light, very light, light, isn't it? Yeah. It's to put it into perspective, our 701s were 146 or 145, yeah, yeah, aren't yeah, they? Not much. What so, about the 890? Do you remember what that is? 890, I think, is 163 it's, it's or 68. All, it's a very, very almost the similar, same, isn't it? Light, very similar. Proper light. Yeah. Proper, proper light. light. Obviously, that's dry weight, isn't it? Way, but yeah, still yeah, yeah. extremely light. Um, 189 kilograms. Still pretty so, good. So surprisingly still quite light yeah, isn't it in relative yeah. terms um you, you can feel that way though can't you when you're riding you it, finish straight away. When, only when you're stopping between them though i don't think it's so apparent if you're just to take no, that out you, no. you wouldn't really know you, you definitely wouldn't want to outrule either of these bikes because they're no. too heavy yeah it lifts over the little crest it's a real screamer that it absolutely loves being thrashed See, this is sticking with you, but I don't think it's as much fun, you know. I don't think it's as much fun because you're not having to rev it. You're riding the torque a bit more, which is great, but I just don't think it's as much fun. Fuel capacity, 17.4 litres on the street. 17.4 litres. 15 and a half litres. That's quite surprising, isn't it? I'm very surprised because it looks the tank looks bigger. It does. So it's obviously full of airbox. It's isn't full it? of airbox. Yeah. yeah. So so this has got a lot more capacity. Fuel consumption. What Triumph? Is this from the Triumph website? Five point two liters per hundred kilometers. Okay. So for those Five. watching, so four and a half liters is a gallon. Yeah. UK gallon, not a US gallon. Yeah. And a hundred a hundred kilometers is sixty two and a half miles. Yes. I'm glad so, we brought him along now. So they're saying how many? They're saying 5.2 litres for 100 kilometres. Okay, so that's 62 and a half miles for five and a half. So it's doing probably about 55 to the gallon officially. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's without good, getting a calculator out, yeah, yeah. which well, is I'm pretty good, isn't it? Math, that's yeah. pretty good. And this is 5.2 litres exactly for 100. Same, so it's exactly the it's same, exactly fuel, the same consumption. fuel consumption. That so is really I think the only really pinch of salt, though, they're the official figures. Yeah, yeah, We've reset course. the trip computers, but we, we need to do the calculations because I think real world, this may guzzle more fuel if you ride it extremely it hard uh, and you thrash that one. I'm surprised these a figure like that, you'd imagine that would be the best possible fuel consumption. And you'd imagine if you were riding this as efficiently as you could- It'd be better. It would be better than that, wouldn't you? You think so? so? Who knows? It, but we'll do the test, yeah. they're the official figures. Well, we may not. We may not. <laughs> Why not? We may not do it. Because well, we're too mathematically thick. Well, how can we do it? Can we do it? Do we um, know? We have to fit, we'd have to top them up again, wouldn't we? That's what I mean. We probably might not end up doing that. No, okay. So we, but anyway. Well, can, can we just pour water in and see how much water goes in? <laughs> hey, that's oh. good <laughs> <laughs> This is so flighty on the power, isn't it? I, you know what, Mark? I'm, think, I'm thinking that I prefer that, you know. Really? I think so. I like, I like that engagement. That, that it's flapping its bars about. It's... You know, it's, it's screaming its nuts off. You've got that induction roar, which sounds really nice. The front wheel's coming up on the power. I mean, don't get me wrong, this, this, is, it's, it, this is a lovely ride. Really, really nice. But I don't know, it depends what you want your bike for, innit? You know, if, if I was going to ride up to Scotland, I'd probably take this. If I just want to come out for some fun on these twisty roads, maybe it's that. I need to try it again. We'll have to swap back in a minute again. Yeah. I do like the blipper though to bang down yeah. through, don't you? The blipper on this is very good. It's lovely, isn't it? Because mine didn't have the blipper and it's a really nice addition. Yeah, it is. It's, it's been good, isn't extra, it? It's very smooth. It's an extra level of uh, engagement, isn't it? A little yeah, sportiness. Yeah, it's lovely. Insurance. Well, I had a well, quote on, insurance for, for you. No, no. This is, this is a quote for Nigel. Who's not, not Nigel? Nigel is this is, a fake person. This is a fake person right. who works for well, didn't work. A for, fantasy person. This is a fantasy person. This is a quote for Bimoto for Nigel, who's a teacher who lives in Norwich. He's got one SB30 for speeding, um, and that's him basically. So for Nigel to insure the streets, it's 177 pounds 35 for a comprehensive. year. Comprehensive. That's comprehensive. So for Nigel on this one? For Nigel on that one. Um, exactly the same terms, yeah. 252 22 252 so quite a bit more expensive then. Give me that figure again. 177 Yeah, 177 so yeah. okay, it is a bit more. But actually, in my opinion, both sound fairly cheap. Yeah, they're not, it's not too no, bad, No, both it? of them are pretty good, aren't I they, really? I think Nigel's, how old, how old Nigel was? I thought uh, he did. He said he's from Norwich. He's from Norwich. He's a teacher. He's a teacher. I think he's, uh, I think he's 38. 
I'll flash it on the screen. I, I, I think he's 38. He's 38. <laughs> He's 105. And he's better looking than both of us, <laughs> yeah. I would imagine. Well, he's not. He's a picture of him as well. <laughs> yeah, one thing with the, the RS is keyless. So with this type of thing, we've got to keep swapping the keys between one another. So it's... What's going on? Are we, I think we're in the way here, mate. I get the impression we could be in the way. Sorry. It definitely feels harder, this bike, doesn't it? Yeah. It's it's like softer, all over. It? Even the seat feels harder. <laughs> You're right, it does. I don't know if that's a better or worse thing. I don't no, know. I don't know either. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, when I got on that a minute ago, it does the whole thing just flexes and feels a lot softer, doesn't it? This just feels quite tight compared. Very tall, isn't that, isn't it? Hey! They're both really good, but you're you're definitely edging towards the speed from what you're saying, aren't you? I like the I like the torque, and I think it's I like the sound a little bit better. It just feels totally smooth. Yeah, the the, the street. It's, there's a little bit of a delay it's almost like it's turbo and it's once you're on the boil it's lovely yeah but on that it's just instant crack it and it's so civilized I, the only thing i would do to it is put those headlights on it yes it's, yeah. i'd say it's only the headlights the which headlights. Look, make it look a bit dated put those on it i would do yeah, nothing else true. to be honest with you yeah. and put the single seat conversion on it leave that dash on it and throw that one away to it's cack <laughs> that one in the bin <laughs> And job done. Let's have a look at the dashes. Let's have a look yeah, at the dashes. Look at that rev counter. Look I mean, at the bottom there. Yeah. Said rev counter. Impossible. Can you start it? Oh, yeah. I'll no, I'll tell you. What, let me put it in a different mode because that, that is that there is the smaller style one. So if we go for the biggest one, which is that. Go on in. But even still, start I mean, it out, what does that mean? <laughs> visible is it you, you can't look at that when you're gliding along no it's not clear um yeah i don't like it let's look at the speed look at that look, it's, look that's that. much better isn't it it's, you've got a clutch yep. in the go again. <laughs> much better isn't it quality of the bike and you've got all these are carbon carbon pieces carbon mud guards carbon trims around the tank carbon trims on the exhaust and the arrows it's all there, isn't it? it is. Nice belly pan, haven't they? Yeah, belly pan, single-sided swinging arm. Olins, of course. The full Olins, I don't know what model Olins that is, but it's the uh, it's the top of the line one. The street has got the much lower spec unit. Still Olins, of course, still good stuff. And you haven't got any of the trimmings, have you? You've, no, you've got none of the carbon bits. It's all plastic, plastic mud guard. Show a big pistons at the front. Isn't yeah, it? show a big pistons. Uh, both got super course. There's no single sided swinging arm, of course, on the uh, on the street. Low slung exhaust. But it still looks great, doesn't it? It still it still looks great. It's got the M the M50s are probably the only thing which I'd say is higher spec. This has got the uh, I think these are the M40s. These. But they feel sharper, don't they? The whole bike just feels sharper. Everything about it feels sharper and, and a little bit harder. But both very, very nice. Come on then, next bit, the so most important price, bit. price. Price of these bikes. The street, ten and a half grand. Ten, ten and a half. half grand. Ten and a half. I thought they were ten three. They're ten, no, and, a half. ten and a half. Ten and a half grand. Ten and a half as of today. And actually, in my experience, and it may, I may be wrong, I don't think there are massive deals to be had on, on the list price of those yeah. i think they are well this is this is the new model isn't it it's the new model and i think you yeah. you may get a little you know 100 or 200 pound thrown in or maybe a tail tidy but there's yeah, yeah, they don't yeah. do massive discounts yeah. so that's what you pay yeah i agreed, think yeah. there or thereabouts yeah, 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 yeah. unless you get a barrage of comments saying oh, i only paid eight well, you got yours too, didn't you? but yours was the older no, one wasn't it? mine was an old one and mine was pre-registered pre -registered, so that yeah, doesn't really yeah, count does it count, but yeah. brand new i don't think True. there's massive deals the new price of this the speed is thirteen thousand six hundred pounds so it's nearly well, it's, it's no, sorry, grand, I think about three yeah. three thousand one hundred pounds more expensive. Yeah, it's quite a lot, isn't it? It's a lot. Speaking to Destination Triumph, massive thanks to Destination Triumph for loading us these bikes while that. Yeah, uh, they reckon you could get a deal on those now. I, I think yeah. you could get money it's gonna off. Happen, isn't it? It's going to happen. Yeah, exactly. Which probably won't bring it down to the same. It's not going to be ten and a half. No, 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 no. But you're going to bring it a little bit closer. I, I think that you will be getting them for twelve and a half, maybe even twelve grand. And into next year, yeah. if there's a lot of stock kicking about and the new ones out yeah, that everyone's gushing about, even, it may come down yeah, even more, exactly. maybe. Yeah. And then if you're, if you're talking about 
12 grand or somewhere very late in the 11s oh my god it's a phenomenal yeah, it bike is. and it's actually a very good bike i think for 13 six i think it is but at the list price three thousand pounds is still a big difference and i'm thinking which would i prefer if they were the same price if you don't bring price into the equation i'm still i don't know which one i prefer i i, I don't know and that's the crazy thing john so yeah. you're talking about we're struggling to decide definitively which one we really prefer and that's without considering price. That was good in price, which yeah. does show you how good the street trip is, yeah, doesn't it? Really? Exactly, yeah. yeah, this bike is softer all round, definitely. Yeah, it is. Yeah, quite a bit, I'd say. Yeah, definitely. The shock softer, the forks are softer, and I think the seat softer, and I think that the frame's a little bit softer as well. I think there's a perhaps a little bit more flex in the frame. I think the riding position of the street triple is more comfortable. I think the legs are quite wide on this. Yeah, it's a lot thinner between your legs, this, for sure. It just doesn't feel quite as comfortable. And, and I think the, the seat, it weirdly, is harder on this, which I don't quite understand. It looks the same. The whole bike is harder, isn't it? This, this is softer, that is harder, everything about it. The brakes are harder on that, they're more bitey. These are feel a little bit softer. Seat softer, suspension softer. Power delivery softer. Yeah. The price is a bit softer. <laughs> I actually think that the Speed Triple for me is a bit of a, it's a bike that I never think about ever. You know, you, you think about, you know, everyone knows about a Street yeah. Triple that's into bikes and everyone knows it's a great bike and lots of people have owned them, haven't they? Either earlier ones or whatever. Yeah. The Speed is something that gets overlooked. And I think in a way it could be one of the world's most underrated bikes because it is really, <laughs> it right. really good. Yeah. I've never ridden one ever yeah. and I've owned loads of bikes and test ridden but why, loads of bikes. But why do you think that is? Why, I don't know. Why have you I don't know. I, I just think it's got, a, in my mind, it's got a reputation for being a bit dull and a bit boring. Yeah. A bit, and a, a bit, bit heavy, a bit underpowered. Yeah, and a bit, that, yeah. exactly, and a bit yesteryear. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, does it, is it, and, and yeah. actually it's really surprisingly good yeah. and I really do like it. Yeah. You know, I, I actually think that if you did a back-to-back -back test of this against some of the, the latest and greatest, this would hold its own in some areas. It definitely would. Yeah. Yeah. I th it would only, it would only lose out on ultimate hoonage. Yeah. Ultimate ho hoonage, it would lose out. And I think the all important test I don't think the, the grid ladies will be throwing their knickers at you on this. I just <laughs> not, don't, in those, not in those colours. I just don't see it. Not in these colours with that yeah, back end. Honestly, yeah. it's got a fat ass, hasn't it? And it makes it makes the back tyre look skinny yeah. because the back end's so I, enormous. I, I, I quite like that. I quite like it, yeah. I like the high you like level a fat ass. I like a fat ass. I like a bit of meat there. <laughs> I could definitely buy one of these. Yeah. It's lovely, isn't it? Really good. It's actually... It, Better than it's, I thought it was going to be, actually, because they're quite old, it? aren't they? Yeah, it's an old design, isn't it? it, it you know, and I think the thing with it, it's got that torque, and I worry if the new one's going to be as torquey. The new 1100, you know, I'm worried if they're not just going to be trying to chase power figures, you know, to bring it in line with all the other bikes. Yeah, rather than real-world rideability, yeah. Exactly, and it may lose some of what makes that bike so good. I know, it's all speculation, of course, but... Yeah, it'll be the same motor though, won't it? It'll be the same, a bit more capacity, but will they try and just tune it for the top end and, and it'll yeah. lose some of that grunt? I don't know, obviously they're going 1100, so that, that gives it back some of the grunt, but I just hope they don't deviate too much from that, you know, that, that essence of what makes that bike so good. <laughs>